Major Slack Attack. Previously on Major Slack Attack, after a lot of walk walk and talk talk all over the galaxy, we finally hunted down the Starborn at the Scorpius constellation. We're about to board his ship and find out the mystery of unity. Let's do it. In their footsteps, let's dock with Scorpius. And we are 800 meters away. Bring it on in, baby. Bring it on in. All right, let's get to the bottom of this. Done with the place. Okay. Hello. Hey, what's up? Again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Damn right it is, bitch. I mean, yeah, yeah, you, you got that right. <laughs> I don't think your patient counselor act is working on them. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. That doesn't justify murder. Don't forget, you guys killed Kenny, you bastard. And who gets to say that? You. Me. The Emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. So, uh, I gotta say, this part is more awkward than I thought. Hiding my face was way easier. The hell? They didn't kill Kenny. Sam, it can't be you. I saw you die. W what's going on here? I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from. I was the one who stayed at the launch to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. Who the what now? One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. Okay, uh, I need to see this unity for myself. And that's the problem. Oh. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. 
Yeah. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Okay, time for a Scooby Doo double take. Keeper Aquilus? No, some other version of the same person, I imagine. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Okay, so I help one of you. We combine our artifacts. Enter the unity. Enter, enter the unity. Got it. Or, I'm not helping someone who murdered my friend. Or, whatever war is going on between you two, I want no part in it. Um, I've never done this option before. You're already in it. Oh, okay. With artifacts come Starborn searching for them fighting over them. I want a truce. Between all three of us, I will give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine. Or the Hunters. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. All right, so option objectives: talk to the hunter and talk to the emissary. Let's do this. I'm sure you have more questions. I do. Ask. I know we're not the same people we met in our universes. Still, it's good to see you again, old friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what happens when you uh, enter this unity thingy? It is not an easy experience to describe. But the unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. Uh -huh. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Hmm. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Okay, and uh, just out of curiosity, who was I in your universe? What was I like? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. As yours won't have its real me. I finally figured out who Sam Co sounds like. Clint Eastwood. Although I know it's not Clint Eastwood, but it, it, am I right? It sounds just like him. You got a real good Clint Eastwood thing going on there, uh, Sam. Anyways, um, so you try to protect the artifacts, keep them from being abused? You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. Okay, and what exactly is the armillary? When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. Okay, one final thing. You have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Had to throw that in. Okay, so that's enough out of you. Next. 
The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. Yeah, okay, once again, what is the unity to you? Why kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Yeah, okay. Um, you do realize that denial is more than just a big river in Egypt, right? Um, why did you attack us? I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. Uh, after you attacked the Lodge, you let me go. Why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me packing through Constellation, and it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own, that's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. Huh. Okay. <laughs> um, you called the Emissary, the Emissary a hypocrite. Why? They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the Unity itself doesn't judge. Mm -hmm. So you had this meeting because of me? <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. That it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the Emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Alright, so there you go people. A big, big dose of dialogue and backstory. Let's get the F out of Dodge and get out of I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there. You must discover for yourself, here, to open the way. Okay, thanks. All I ever wanted was answers anyways. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see. What I have seen, you should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Alright. 750 XP. <coughs> Interesting.
practice runs, I was getting 825 XP. Um, hmm. All right, so um, final glimpse. We have two new missions: final glimpses and unearthed. Um, let's start with this one. Return to the lodge. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to Sam. To Sam? Nah, 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 I ain't doing that. That's bullshit. Well, just think about it. If you change your mind, we'll be here. Complete bullshit. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Okay, um... This is beyond measure. Wait for wait for the service. You have to wait five uh, universal time days, or you can just go upstairs and sleep in the bed here at the lodge, and you get the option to wait. Pardon me. All five days in one go. Here you go. Um, wait until mem memorial. Let's do that. There we go. Attend the memorial service today, or we have the option to simply wait 24 hours and um, skip it, which is what I normally do. But um, for the sake of this walkthrough, let's uh, let's actually do the service. I can't jump over there, really. Oh wait, Jeff to mark is up there. Mission is no stranger to loss. Our own family. Yeah, it's down there. That's what I thought. I had the wrong mission. Constellation has the suffered glory losses excitement before. of breaching into the unknown, of lighting the darkness. But it is harder to stare into the face of the cost. That all of our progress is built on top of the lives of those who dared. And that we owe them the courage to continue our work in their memory. Thank you, Sarah. If anyone else would like to say a few words. Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. I guess I should say something, but I don't know what. Um, how about thank you all for coming? <laughs> Sam was my friend. I let Sam down. I let his family down. Sam knew the dangers we faced better than anyone. We will never forget those responsible for Sam's death. He was more like Aquila's prodigal son. He was the best among us. Could have saved him, but I should be the one who's gone, not him. If he was here, he would tell us to keep going, to never stop. We will never rest until he is avenged. I'm going to miss him for the rest of my life. I don't know how I'm going to live without him. I'll do everything I can to honor his memory. Oh, and by the way, Sam's still alive. This is all completely bullshit. Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something. Anything else? And that's it. We're done. Ta-ta. See you in the funny papers. I will be monitoring everyone. Okay, we got some XP for that. Next. Final glimpses, return to the lodge. Let's take care of all of these in one fell sweep. How can I be of service, Captain? Stop stealing my XP when we land on planets. Running around shooting the aliens and stuff. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Um, okay, here. Finally get my chance. Sam is alive. Okay, a version of him, anyways. From another universe. What? 
Yes. It can't be. No, no, he's Our alive. colleague is alive in some alternate dimension? A am I hearing this right? Yes. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Who, me? <laughs> I barely understand it myself. Uh, okay, I'll give it a shot. I met a version of Sam. He told me the Unity creates the Starborn and they can cross universes. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. Um. Well, okay. Think of what awaits us. A new life. The powers of the starborn. You know? To boldly go where no man has gone before. Stuff like that there. I suppose it's better that we do it than allow the starborn to continue this game of theirs unchallenged. Yeah. Everyone stay focused. We're still in this to discover the unknown. Even if that unknown has just gotten infinitely larger. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Done and done. Okay, Dusty. um... Dusty! Let's Quiet talk. you. No, no, no. We're doing a walk here. Quiet you. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Aware of these velocities. Okay, thanks, Vlad. I'll follow up on those. Although, uh, wait a minute, I'm not quite ready to look for more artifacts. Remember when Deep Space was... Do not correlate to Remember actuality. when Deep Space was, an, was our only problem? Aye. The Blackest Sea seems less of a concern when there are sharks leaping out at you. Even or especially the ones that do Yeah, I think um, there's some things I want to do before we go on with looking for more artifacts. So I'm not quite ready to look for more artifacts yet. All right, the time in Holmes Cradle's not a bad time. idea these days. Done it then. Okay, next. Um, talk to Vladimir, that's that. And um, yes, there are other things that I want to take care of before I push on with this one. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to call it for this one. I have a skill point. I like to noodle about exactly how to spend that skill point. So let me go off camera and noodle that a little bit. I'll be right back. Thanks a lot for watching. You thought this was remotely entertaining? Pleasant to see you. Okay, that's nice back though. And if you thought this was really entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, post a comment, stuff like that there. And I shall see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.